I heard something in the bushes. I'm coming. <gasps> Stay there. I'll go see what it is, honey. By looking behind me, can you guess what time of year it is? Here's Lies Sassy Kathy. Rest in peace, Ozzy. <laughs> Freddie. I don't see Jason. I know. I mean, <laughs> Jason's still here. Jason, Jason wandered in the woods over there. <laughs> you know, better watch out for Jason. Wandered in the woods. <laughs> okay. IP Road, beware, haunted highway, Boo Boulevard, Cemetery Circle, Contracular Drive, and Wicked Witch. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I hear. I heard something in the bushes. I'm coming. Stay there. I'll go see what it is, honey. We are in Georgia, Southern Georgia, coming up to the Alabama border. I'm looking for the town of Omaha, where we know where there's a free campsite. Okay, we're turning in here at the State Park, Florence Marina State Park, because apparently we got mixed up to where the free place were. So we're hoping that we could do a uh, get a get a walk in like we done before. Okay, we got ice for sale. I don't see any wood. And it looks like an ice machine that's locked up. Soda machine, power air water. Rec rooms in the back. Well, apparently we are in luck. And Kate told me to go down here and check out site 10 or any others because the lady said they have plenty of them available. So you guys gonna get a ride through. Maybe that'll be my campground review. So let's see. Of course, if you're a border, there you are. Arena and a lake. So turning here, turning right to tent and trailer camping. And I don't see any numbers. Oh, there's another little house here that we can actually buy stuff. Barbers clothes set up and minister the following morning. Oh, I like that. Okay, here's site one. Camp ground host is to my left. Site one is to the right. Seems like all the uh, numbers are on the right. Like a big one in site three. And you know, even numbers. On the well, campground host is our number, that's nice. Here's 10. Oh, this is the one she would recommend it. Oh, this is nice. A nice pull through. Right behind the black the restaurant. <laughs> Someone call Kate right quick. Hey Siri. Call Kate. It has seven with a tent camper with a truck in it. Ten look nice, it's right by the restroom, so I'm, but I'm still going around to see the rest of them. Yeah, but hold off on them, go around and see whatever else they have out here to offer. All right. So a lady recommend 10, and, and I actually like 10. Is it a concrete pad? 
and the rest of the pads, especially for motorcyclists, looks like they are gravel. It's a lot of kids here. It's just a nice little loop. And there's a big field over there when I get around to it. Let's see. 14. I guess we want at 13. Can't say we were at 13 last time, but 14 is there. And here's 15. Right here. And all the caps sites have electric and a table, a stand up charcoal grill, and fire pit. Right here is kind of ragged. This is the one we stayed on that time. I don't remember how ragged it was. And then there's a big field straight ahead. And for you fishermen, there's a fish cleaning station right here. Right there. I'll slow down. No trash allow. Fish remains on the fish cleaning station. Open field. Yeah, I guess I'll turn left here and see what's available. Let's see, get it for Monte. 17. Yeah, everything is gravel except 10 that she recommend. Here's 18. 19. Somebody got 20. Oh, okay. On my right side, it's paid. Put your feet up paid. 18. That's not the one we got before. 24. And there you go, big riggers, uh, big RVs. You can see. You can see that the class A right there. Don't look like there's an overhang. Fifth wheel. All right. He's inside 21. And there's a comfort station with laundry. And it's nice and cold in there. Well, in the summer, I can't see what they're doing right now. It's the end of summer right now, so I don't know if they're right there. I can just show them Let me take another look at number 10, which is here. He's a full through. Oh, yeah, I think we're going to take number 10. Right about the comfort station. And there are some more sites here. Another one. Pull through right there. It's nice. They're giving us a choice to get one of the pull through instead of the back. Well, all of them actually pull through from what I can see. I will show you guys a map. So what I'm going to do here is turn right and take a look at some of the other ones. And that's what came in there. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm pretty with the same. One of the things that you got to remember is it is very woody, but you don't have that much privacy if you're talking about, you know, the separations of the campsites. And over to my left is the lake, which we'll go to later and look at that because there is a event center up here. I don't remember, remember the name of the event center, but we're going to take a look at that later once we can. Exactly, see exactly where we are. It's campsite 39. I don't remember how many campsites are actually on the park. Yeah, that's 39. Well, this right here is the back side of where I've written. And I'm just going back in and out. So far, 10 is fine. Light like 10, 28, 29. Okay, I saw 39, so I'm assuming it's on the 39 sites. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. Army, which all right. Keep there. And I'm going to head back. I don't know where we are here for number 10, especially since we stand only one night. It looks like a nice, good family campground. Obviously, a children play area and a tent site so over to the left. Well, we we went to find a free campground. No luck, but we did have a wonderful, wonderful ride today.
Yes, yeah, it was. It's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh man! So we just here for one night, and then tomorrow we going less than two hundred miles. I think about one hundred and thirty miles, and another campground. And we go. Basically, we trying to get out to the beach. Y'all know what the beach I'm talking about. Destin, Florida. Right here is the other check-in spot. If the office is closed, set up and register the following morning. So you can go in here. If this is closed or the other one closed, pick your spot, set up, and then come the next morning and register and pay. Right now, we are heading to an area which I'm assuming you can rent because there's a big building over here. And last time we looked in, we saw chairs and tables. So it's probably a pavilion that you can rent out for an event. Let's go up there first. As we approach, this area is beautiful. Obviously no camping this direction. They got miniature golf equipment can be picked up at visitor center. Yeah, I would guess wedding type events or I guess any type of event. Big old grill. <clears throat> The grill. It look like it was just recently used. We need to clean it out. And I remember looking at the inside of this. We can't look at the inside now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the windows, the doors are closed, but I'll show you through the window. Hope nobody don't come running out. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> See, little well, event center. Tables and chairs are off in the back. Here's the rental center. I guess the event center from the opposite side. And there's the underground section here. They probably let you use because it looked like a concession section over in that area. And I see the chairs and tables stacked up over there. It's their collection box. I thought it was telling us what this area was. But it's the collection box for Georgia Park Pass required on vehicles. So there you have it. Tells you the price of each vehicle. And right here, it explains how to pay for it. So that's all it's telling you. Let me get back over here by Rich. Where did he go? I see him. Okay, here are basically the picnic grounds. There are tables throughout this area. And a lake is just on the other side of those tables. I mean, other side of those trees. That's the direction we came from with the pavilion or the event center. And over here is a huge barbecue bread grill, fire pit, and look like four picnic tables for a group area. I see electric outlets here. Yep light bulbs so you can have a small event i don't know if this for campers day use or you just rent it rent it out as needed some trash cans over here and the camping area is way over there two trash cans i'm assuming one will be for recycle and it's open field we didn't speak to anybody to find out what the use of the field is but you can look that up and check it out. Going over back here by cake. I'm gonna bring you by the lake or the waterway, I guess you can call it, and see what's going on over there. And there's areas over here where you can sit down and enjoy the water because there's benches along the water. We only seen two so far. And there's another small pavilion over here. I'm assuming that's where the wedding would be performed if you have a wedding at this event center. Here's the bench right here. If you want to sit and watch that. 
set. That's a sun. Over here, there's picnic tables. So I'm assuming for day use or just for fishers, fishermen, fisher people. It's quite a few of them. There's one right here, one right there. And look like some way back there. I'm not going back there. Cause it's scary back there. Cracker gators in the water. Look like a chicken coop, not a chicken coop, but a um fish cleaning station. Yeah, I can smell it from here. I'm not going to run. <laughs> but they made it very neat for you. So I guess once you clean your fish, keep that door closed, keep the raccoons and other critters out of there. We have no idea what lake is that. <laughs> lake of... Do you see the moss and how it's hanging down from the trees? Let's get closer to where I can reach, but it goes all the way up the tree. It is beautiful. And here's a trail saying vehicles prohibited, but it's National Wildlife Refuge. Or they say unauthorized entry prohibited, so which means we cannot go through there. No, we cannot. And and beware of alligators. Bagging up, bagging up, bagging up, bagging up, bagging up, bagging up. You're not a bear country, right? That's why I say alligator country, beware. <laughs> Here is the boat ramp. You could come in, launch your boats. And there's life jacket station here. And it says splash. Supervise, prevent, life, jacket, arm, reach with the buddy, swim lessons, and have a plan, splash. Take one size it, wear it. Wear it, Georgia. Now, obviously this is for your safety because there's no swimming in this water anyway. We are told there's alligators in here. And in fact, let me show you the sign over here. Here's a thing telling you about alligators and what should you do? Don't feed them, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Here, nice chairs for you to set outside when you're doing your laundry. Also on this side. And when you come inside, I don't know if it closes, let me see. Nope. There are two fans to cool everything down. Go through here to the right is where the washers and dryers are. I don't know what's going on with that when it's unplugged, so I guess it's repair. Wow, they got pots. I guess this is a donation table, free to go home. Oh, I should say free to good home. So if anybody wants some pots, uh, some clothing, that's pretty good. So let's go out here. It's the door we came in. How you doing? And a soda machine, just like at the front office. Oh, they take cards too. And I'm not about to go into restrooms because I think he's going to take a shower. Men restroom, free shower. Lady restrooms, free shower also. So let me head out of here. This is very nice, very, very nice. Now, it is a state park. This one is not cheap. It's way out of our budget. We normally would not pay 40 something dollars for a thing. I think Cake said with taxes it came out to $50. So we only stay in one night. And the next place we are going to, we can pay $40 and stay five nights, which means it's $8 a night. Okay, here are, we are approaching the miniature golf course. Hmm. Want to get around in before we leave? I don't know about all that. I don't feel like beating. I don't feel like beating you that bad. Hmm. Boy, I will tear you up on this course. I mean, it's basic. No frills. 
no animal heads and clown heads and waterfalls and all that, but this is a family friendly campground for sure. I don't know how many. Uh, count the poles. It looked like it could be 18, actually. And it looked super basic. I mean, I don't know how to golf even on a real course, but I will beat her. Okay, this one coming a little uphill. Nice. 18 total? Okay. So you got your a real golf course. 18 holes. Yep. Get your clubs. Come out. Enjoy it. But I guess you get the stuff from the visitor center. I don't know if you have to pay for it. According to that sign, they just say pick it up from there. That's all we have for this campground review. We hope you enjoyed it. But remember, if you're out riding, Ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. I'm Cake. And we out. Peace.